Many students overlook the free 120 until it's too late. Think about it. You've invested months in QBanks and review materials, building your knowledge base for step one or step two. But what if the real exam feels nothing like your practice test? The Free 120 isn't just another practice exam. It's written by the same team behind the USMLEs, and if used correctly, it can eliminate test day uncertainty. In this video, I'll show you four proven strategies to use the Free 120 to walk into your USMLE knowing exactly what to expect and get an extra 15 minutes of break time in the process. Strategy number one is the test center advantage. Here's something most people don't realize. You can take the free 120 at your actual Prometric test center. This changes everything about how you prepare. Think about how NASA trains astronauts. They practice everything until it becomes routine. That's exactly what we're doing here. When you're actually taking the test, you want everything, including the questions, to feel as familiar as possible. To schedule your free 120 at one of the Prometric centers, search USMLE computer-based testing practice session, or use the link that we put in the description. Currently, it costs $75 for people in the US and Canada and $155 internationally. The exam lasts up to three and a half hours and includes all of the questions from the original free 120. And just like the free 120 that you take online, you can get immediate percentage score feedback. The most valuable things that you'll learn, however, deal with how it's going to feel like on actual test day. These are some of the biggest exams that doctors take in their entire your career. And so it would make sense that you'd feel at least a little nervous on test day. Being able to walk through the process of the real check-in, having your exact morning commute, working through the exact route that you're going to take to drive to the center, knowing where the bathrooms are, how long the breaks actually work, figuring out the fingerprinting and the check-in and check-out process. Every minute you save figuring out logistics is a minute that you can use for the actual exam. More importantly, taking out the mental stress and uncertainty of all of the other logistical details can help you to maximize your focus on test day. Plus, bring every Everything that you're planning to bring with you on test day, including all of your snacks, your earplugs, any medications that you might need, as well as your favorite sweatshirt. Don't wait until test day to learn what you can and can't bring into the testing room. One thing to note is, is that from the time that you register to the time that you actually are able to schedule your Prometric Center Free 120 session, it can take up to seven days. So if you're planning on doing this, be sure to do this several weeks in advance to ensure that you can find the right testing center as well as the right testing date, ideally choosing the test center that you're going to take the real exam in. This leads us to strategy number two, the perfect timing plan. Let's talk about the critical question. When do you actually take the Free 120 if you want to maximize its impact on your score. The sweet spot is one to two weeks before your exam. Here's why. One of the most critical elements of step one and step two is, is that they're going to test you using fresh questions on concepts that you already know. Taking the free 120 one to two weeks before your exam keeps it close enough so that you can practice doing novel questions, but also keeps it far enough so that if you need to make any adjustments, you've still got some time. Remember, the USMLE isn't testing memorization. It's testing your ability to apply concepts to new situations. Written by the same people that write step one and step two, the free 120 are fresh scenarios that allow you to practice real clinical reasoning. Plus, if you want to build test-taking stamina, here's how to turn the free 120 into a full test simulation. The free 120 are only three blocks of 40 questions. What that means is, is that it's four blocks short of the seven question blocks that you're going to get on the real step one exam. To simulate the real exam, try adding four QBank blocks after you finish the free 120 to allow you to do seven blocks of full questions. Plus, only try to give yourself about 60 minutes of total break time, which is what you'll have on the real test. Be sure to stick around to see how you can use the free 120 to maximize the amount of break time that you have on the real test day. For step two, the free 120 is also still three blocks. However, the exam has eight question blocks. And so if you want to simulate the real thing, you're going to want to add five QBank blocks after you finish the free 120. Remember that the break time for step two is still a maximum of 60 minutes. So be sure to plan your breaks accordingly. This is more about practice than learning. You should note that there's no explanations provided for the questions on the free 120. There have been numerous attempts to try to publish explanations to the free 120. However, every single instance of trying to publish these explanations have been removed. So the free 120 isn't necessarily a great way to figure out the rationale behind the questions. Rather, use it to focus on the testing process itself. Strategy number three is the real question strategy. Let's talk about what makes the free 120 different. Other than being free, rather than the other practice exams released by the NBME, there are some other critical differences. As we just mentioned, there's no explanations on the free 120. One thing that works in the free 120's favor is, is that it tends to be updated more frequently than the other official practice exams released by the NBME. For example, for step one, most of the NBMEs were released before 
or step one when pass fail. Free 120 has been updated at least once or twice over that time frame, keeping it among the most current of the official practice exams available. Plus, here's something crucial about the format that most students miss. The official NBME practice exams for purchase are typically four blocks of 50 questions each, giving you 200 questions total, which for step one and step two have blocks of only 40 questions apiece. The reason for this is largely historical, since step one used to have blocks of 50 questions, and the practice NBMEs mirrored this. As a side note, we actually used to call it the free 150 because it was three blocks of 50 questions. However, since the number of questions per block has decreased, NBME has reduced the number of questions per block in the free 120 so that now it's three blocks of 40 questions each. And while the free 120 doesn't share answer explanations, I'll show you how to maximize your learning even without them. This leads us to strategy number four, the USMLE tutorial hack. What if I told you that using the free 120 effectively isn't just about practice? It's your ticket to getting an extra 15 minutes of break time on test day for both both step one and step two. One of the best parts about the free 120 is, is that the interface mirrors what you'll see on test day. To actually find the free 120, you can actually just search free 120 on Google, or you can search for USMLE orientation. Once you do so, you'll have the opportunity to select either the tutorial or the overview, or to do specific blocks from the exams. The good news is if you're comfortable with UWorld, you're already familiar with most of the USMLE interface. The navigation system matches exactly, the calculator functions the same way, plus the lab value display is nearly identical. For the purpose of this video, I went through and checked every single lab value that they give you in UWorld as well as in the Free120. What I found was is that they were virtually identical. The only thing was is that the Free120 had the normal value for lipase as well as troponin. The troponin is a throwaway since it should be basically just negative, but the lipase might be helpful. But here's where the Free120 becomes incredibly valuable beyond just practice questions. Specifically, you get access to the exact USMLE tutorial online including the instructions on test day. On the day of your exam, they're going to give you 15 minutes to go through the overview and the tutorial. But any unused time goes straight to your break time, meaning that instead of having 45 minutes of break time, you can have a total of 60 minutes of break time. The way to do this is make sure that you've read through all of the tutorial and overview before you step into the exam. Then when you start your test, skip to the media section so that you can check and make sure that your headphones are working. Since you'll have reviewed the tutorial and overview beforehand, you don't have to waste time reading what you already know. 15 minutes automatically converts to break time that you can use when you really need it later on in the exam. Think about it, an extra 15 minutes of break time means you can have a longer lunch break, more time to decompress, buffer for bathroom breaks, and extra time between really challenging blocks. One thing you want to familiarize yourself with is the way that you take break time during the actual exam. Obviously, they don't want you to take a break during the middle of a block. One reassuring thing is, is that if you forget to click take a break, it'll automatically use your break time rather than just moving you to the next block of questions. Before my exam, I know that I had this nightmare of I was going to go take a break and come back and find out that like 10 minutes was missing from my next block of questions and I had to rush through it. As long as you have break time remaining, it won't start your next block until you hit start next block. Even if you forget to take a break and just leave the room. Now that you know how to maximize the free 120, you want to understand another crucial part of USMLE success. Check out our guide to the key differences between step one and step two. Understanding these differences is essential for scoring 270 plus. 